Hi guys, it's Dave Farmer, and welcome back to my series on Reaper. And today we're going to take a look at the Actions menu. This is where you go to set up your keystrokes for your shortcuts, to set up custom actions where you can stack things together and just get access to all kinds of things in Reaper under different keystrokes. So let's go look under Actions, Show Action List, and let's look at a couple of things here. So one of the first things you may notice is you can actually search for a shortcut by clicking this button, Find Shortcut. So if you ever find yourself pressing a key combination that does something crazy and you want to figure out what the heck it was, you can come here, do Find Shortcut, and I'm just going to go ahead and search for, I know one of mine is Command Shift N is Normalize. So it finds the shortcut for you just like that. So you can keep doing this to find out you know, different actions. These could be ones set up from the factory or ones you do yourself or some that you import from other people. Once you find an, an item you like, say, save all projects, if you want to assign a keystroke to it, you can press add and now you can select whatever keystroke you want and then hit OK and it will prompt you if that keystroke is already mapped to some other action. And you can either choose to overwrite that or cancel and try again. So let's say you want to remove a keystroke. You would say select this one, Command S for Save Project. You come over here and you hit Delete, and that will remove that. And you can also import and export keystrokes, like your entire set. If you go Export here, say Export All, you can export your entire keystroke set for you to import on another system. I do that between home and work all the time where I'm sharing my own keystrokes back and forth with myself. And that makes it really handy. From here, you can also press Run, which does the same thing as pressing this keystroke. It just goes ahead and runs that action. And now let's take a look at setting up a brand new action. I'm going to go ahead and do the one that's actually in the manual because I don't actually have it set up for myself and it looks like a pretty cool one. What we're going to do is make an action that will split this item at the mouse cursor. We're not even going to have to select the item like this. It's going to just, by hovering the mouse cursor over the item, we're going to be able to split this item. So let's come to the Actions menu. We'll hit New, and then you name the item. I like to call all of mine Custom, so I can find all of the ones that I've made myself quickly just by searching for Custom. And I'll just call this Split under mouse. How about that? So now you come over here and you, under the filter dialog box, you can search in different, um, different criteria. So this one happens to be move edit cursor to mouse cursor. Here it is here. So you can just drag this into this menu over here. This is where you will stack up all your different commands. So now this item is in here. Let's add the next one. Incidentally, Making the keystrokes is actually the easy part. The hardest part of all this is trying to figure out what Reaper calls different things, because different commands are called different things in Pro Tools and Reaper. And sometimes it'll drive you crazy trying to figure out just what things are called. You know they're in there, but they're hard to find just by what they're called. Anyhow, let's do the second one, which is select item under mouse. Drag that in. Let's go for the next one. Split items. At edit or mouse cursor. Or play cursor. Here it is. So now we have these three items set up. Let's go ahead and assign a key to this. You'll notice if you resize this window, this assignment box, either it's either over here on the left or it's over here on the right, depending on how big you've made this box. So I know I don't have Command Shift 9 assigned to anything, so let me just go ahead and assign that. Press OK. Now I'm going to come back here, and without selecting this item, I'm going to hover my mouse over it so it splits on this transient. And I'm going to press Command Shift 9, and it just split the item at that place. Now let me show you something else we need to consider here. So find shortcut. I'm going to do Command Shift 9, find the shortcut again. 
Now, this is three different steps. If I, if I run this like it is now, and then I want to undo it, it'll be three different undo steps. So let's check this little box down here that says consolidate undo points. That way this entire thing is only one undo. And you may have noticed that when we ran this, the second item was selected when it was done. I want to make this so nothing is selected. So let's go back in here, hit edit. Let's search for unselect. And now we see unselect all items. Now I can double click that to add it to this, to this list as well as drag it in. And you can reorder these if you want. But I want that to be the very last event or last event in this custom action. Hit OK. Hit Close. Now if I run this, it should split this item and leave everything unselected. There we go. So, I hope that was helpful. We'll be using this Actions menu to show some shortcuts to sort of mimic some of the things that are in Pro Tools, things like nudging clips, uh, setting fades, things like that. We'll show that coming up in the next videos. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. See you next time.